Salutations, Swam Fam, yours truly, Simon A. And uh, this is a very serious video because what I'm about to talk about could seriously impact the future of this YouTube channel. So please watch the entire video uh, so you can understand, you can get the whole context of what's going on. All right, you got it? Good. All right, now, this is not a video that I think I would ever have to make, but given what I've had to deal with the past few weeks, it's important for me to acknowledge this. Now, I've been on YouTube for seven and a half years, and I've dealt with a lot. I've dealt with trolls, I've dealt with copyright issues, I've dealt with people stealing my videos. I've, I've been through a lot, but nothing as really severe as this. And I'm talking about the fact that YouTube has been marking a lot of my videos for kids because of their COPPA policy. Now, basically, YouTube's COPPA policy has been part of the platform ever since late 2019. And in that policy, you will have to determine whether or not your content is marked for kids or not. Of course, uh, when I first knew about it, I instantly marked my channel as not for kids because, you know, Baby Lamb Creations has always been for a general audience. And though a very, very, very small portion of my videos have been marked for kids uh, in the past couple of years, uh, I didn't really pay much attention to it. I just kept doing what I've been always been doing in terms of making videos. That is until the day of October 12, when I got an email from YouTube saying that even though I've marked a lot of my videos as not for kids, their systems have identified a lot of my videos as for kids. And well, I, again, I didn't really pay much attention to it until my friend uh, Cartoon Fan 18 DM'd me saying that a recent episode of Baby Lemon Friends, which had swearing in it, was marked for kids. So I went to, so I checked, and it turns out that YouTube did not mark like a very small portion of my videos for kids. They marked over 400 of my content for kids. And by that, I mean a lot of my videos. I'm talking about several episodes of Baby Lamb and Friends, several videos of Mr. Nut, uh, several musical crossovers, mashups, random remakes, my channel trailer, and even my very first video that I ever posted got marked for kids. Of course, I went ahead and tried to appeal as many as I could. Not all of them, because, you know, it's over 400. I don't think I would have the energy to really try to appeal that many. But I meant the ones that don't make any sense, like the ones that have, like, swear words and stuff. And most of them were a success, except for some reason, even though some of them have swear words in them, or have, like, some kind of sexual reference or something, you know, something that's not for kids, YouTube still considers it for kids and rejects my appeal. I just shit my pants! I want to have sexual relations. Flies off. I mean, he only showed up for like one fucking second. Then apparently the rest of the villains, they just run away like complete pussies or something. You know, if it wasn't for the Christmas shit, I wouldn't fucking work. This is the only time of the year that I fucking work. It pisses me off. Yeah, not even kidding. I posted a video that had SpongeBob SquarePants saying bad words. Like, that was legit audio from Tom Kenny himself swearing at SpongeBob. YouTube marked it for kids and rejected my appeal just because it had Spongebob in it. Now, a friend of mine and a mutual on Twitter named Hassan Kader, who is well known on TikTok for doing videos with a Mickey Mouse puppet, had to deal with something similar because even though he makes adult content with his Mickey puppet, his videos got marked for kids as well. So all the videos going viral right now, about eight or nine videos are getting millions of views a day on YouTube, got flagged as made for kids. I know this seems like a tiny thing, but if you're a YouTuber, you know, that's a death sentence. That's the end of your channel. That's the end of your career. YouTube is really tight on what content is made for children and what isn't. There's this whole thing called COPPA, which is really tough to explain, so I won't do it here, but look it up. Lots of people have explained it. Basically, kids' content has to be marked as kids, and if they find out that you're uploading content for children without marking it as made for kids, you're kind of in trouble. So they marked my videos as made for kids, and as you can see here, every single one of those videos has now plummeted in views. Now, obviously, yes, I'm going to uh, address the elephant in the room and say that this is something I probably should have seen coming for two reasons. One, a lot of my videos in the past have used footage from content that's targeted towards kids. I've used footage from 
shows like Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, uh, Mickey Mouse, SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, the Powerpuff Girls, Shrek, you know, that kind of shit. But most of the time I try to be transformative with them. And the obvious fact that my YouTube channel's name has the word baby in it. Of course, that doesn't mean that it is for kids, but however, YouTube thinks otherwise. So that's why they've been marking a lot of my videos for kids. And they're still doing that. They say that their systems will continue to identify a lot of my videos. Now, I've made over 2,100 videos and they've marked over 420 of my videos. So I feel like, I don't know how long it's going to be before they stop doing that, but... Yeah, this is very, uh, very serious because, well, like, even my current videos have been marked for kids, like, uh, like from this year. And I, th and at the rate that YouTube is going with trying to mark my videos for kids and deciding my audience for me, like, this is really serious and this could really impact the future of my, of my YouTube channel. Because even though this is not a job or anything, Baby Lamb Creations has always been my livelihood, and I want to share my videos, not just for kids, but for everyone. And yeah, this situation has really been stressing me out because like, even when I do swear in my videos, YouTube thinks like, it's still for kids regardless. It's kind of ironic really, because like in the past, some of my fans have complained that I swear in my videos. They say, oh, Simon, how dare you use bad language? Or Simon, oh, why do you guys say bad words? Isn't your channel supposed to be family friendly? Like you wouldn't believe how many times people have complained about me using swear words in my videos. Now for all of those who have complained over the years that I use curse words in my videos, now you know why. Now you know why. See, this this is probably what you're asking for. Now, I've been doing this YouTube shit for like seven and a half years. I started when I was 13 years old and I'm about to be 21 this year. So obviously I've grown just in terms of the content that I make, just like how my channel itself has grown. And I don't know exactly what the future holds for me or for this channel. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to retire or stop making videos altogether. And I'm not going to move to another platform because, well, you know, I've always used YouTube as the number one platform for, show for sharing stuff that I'm really passionate about. And I don't know if this means I'll have to rebrand my entire channel and get rid of the baby part of my YouTube channel's name. Because, you know, I've been using Baby Lamb Creations as the name ever since the day it first started. And... I, that doesn't mean I'm going to retire from making YouTube videos. I just don't know exactly what to do at this point. Because there's still so much I want to share with you guys. And I don't want YouTube to keep deciding my audience for me. I've reached out to Team YouTube about some of the videos that were incorrectly marked for kids. Despite having swear words and sexual content in them. However, given how very poorly they handled the situation between S.S. Sniped Wolf and Jax Films, which is a completely different uh, uh, subject, I suggest looking it up, I don't really have much faith in YouTube at this point. I, I seriously don't. Like, because, like, YouTube basically now expects their creators to act to be responsible for what kids should and should not see, instead of letting that be just for the parents. And I think that's just really fucking stupid because like, and because YouTube's been so irresponsible, this is why stuff like this has been happening. Now, I'm grateful that I haven't gotten any strikes and all the videos are still up. But the reason I care so much about these videos being more for kids is because for one thing, I depend on the comments because, you know, that's how I get feedback and stuff. And if those videos that I've worked so hard on got marked for kids, then it will really impact the viewership and I really won't get as much views or anything. I hope that there will be a solution and I don't have to deal with this anymore. I don't know what this will mean, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about. And uh, we'll just see where this will go. All right.